Hey designers, in this quick tutorial, I want to show you how to create five amazing button animations in Figma. I'm sure your clients will love them and I'm sure that your projects and your prototypes will look much more interesting and valuable. So without further ado, let's get to the designing. And first what we need to do, we need to create a title for the button. It will be just a button. Now let's turn this into the outer layout. So I press Shift A. And now let's add some settings. Put 40 left and right and 16 on top and bottom. And now I want to add fill. It will be white. And I want to add stroke black with two or let's put it four pixels. My text is 40 and let's make it black like this. And now let's add corner radius 100. After this, let's um, change the name and it will be button one slash default. Now we need to add a small circle like this, about 24 pixels. Let's make it black and put it inside our out layout and then press absolute positioning here. Now let's make it in the center and let's move it all the way down so it's outside of the frame without layout. Now we select the frame, we click clip content to hide this circle. Now option drag to copy. Now we select our circle. Let's click align in the center like this in the middle. And let's make it bigger holding option shift Make it bigger like this and also we should select the title of the button and make it white but we don't see it now because it is under our circle so we need to change it in our layers and here we should do the same thing like this now we change the name we put hover we select both of these out layouts we go to components, create component set, select the first variant, go to prototype and drag in direction to the second one. Here we select while hovering, smart animation, and let's put 500 milliseconds. Linear, let's put it easy and is out, or we can use gentle. Now let's create a frame. For example, 1000 by 1000. And with option drag, let's copy the first button to our frame. And select the frame and press shift spacebar. And now we can see the prototype. Let's create the second button. I'll just copy the name the first one with option drag here now i create a new auto layout like this uh, again 40 and 16 top and bottom again i want to put white color 100 for the corner radius and stroke about four well basically we're doing the same thing as we did before and now uh, I need to add effects, drop shadow, here we make blur 0, and the color should be 100%. And on vertical alignment, we should make it about 8. And now we should add this into a frame. This is very important, guys. Let's create a new frame. And then we should make it this size. Look, um, so the button should touch the top of the frame and the shadow should touch the bottom of the frame. You see, actually, I want to move a little bit um, shadow on to the top because I don't like the way it looks. Yeah, like this six is OK. And now I hold comment and I make my 
uh, frame a little bit smaller. And I remove the background. So let's call this button 2. Yep. And let's call it slash and default. Now we copy it. And here it's going to be hover. And here's the trick. I close the eye on drop shadow. And I move this outer layout with the button to the bottom of the frame. I just use the alignment. Yep, here it is. And now I select both of them. Create component set. Select the first variant. And use while hovering. And here I don't need smart animation. I use instant. Yep, like that. Again, with option drag, I copy it to the frame, select the frame, shift spacebar, and now let's check it out. Look, it looks really nice. You see it's kind of dropping inside. It looks really 3D. Don't forget to hit that like button if you like what's happening here right now. And now let's do the third button. Copy the first one, uh, the first button. And here we need to detach intents instance and we remove uh, the circle that was inside and I want to fill it with different color let's make it this blue and we remove the um, stroke and let's change the color of the title to white now I need to draw a rectangle like this for example 10 pixels and I want to turn it a little bit like so and make it white. And now I go to effects and I select layer blur and I make it blur like this. Actually, I want it a bit larger, longer, like this. And I put it inside of my button, like so. But again, I need to select the absolute positioning. I move it this way, so let's get in the center, and I move it all the way to the left, like so. Here it's going to be default, and another copy, and here I need to select my shining effect, and I move it all the way to the right, and here I call it hover. Now I select both of them. This is going to be our button three. And here I need to change it to button three. Select them. Again, create component set. And once again, I just move this arrow over here. And while hovering, and here I need to select smart animation. And I want to use ease in, ease out. And about 200 milliseconds, like that. Okay, let's copy it to our frame, and let's see it in action. Yep, well, this one is very fast, so let's make it a little bit slower, maybe 500. Yep, it looks pretty cool, like this shining effect for the button. Alright, so the fourth button, uh, we actually need you know, just the text. And we'll use um, frames for this. So I select uh, frame, make a frame. And for example, this was uh, about 200 by 8. Let's make it 200 by 80. By 80. Mm -hmm. Actually, it was two, 205. Okay, like this. We select the button and put it in the center, like so. And now we need to put this button text inside our frame. But before that, we need to change something in our text layer. We need to use vertical trim like this. And now let's put it into a frame. Right click, frame selection. Here. And now I need to copy it. So I duplicate it. And then I can make an auto layout now. So I press Shift A inside 
But before that, I need to, oh, after that, I need to select my frame and select clip content like this. You see, it's aligned to the top of the frame that's inside here. So now I change the color. Well, let's make it black. And I want to change the color of the text. So I'll change it to white. It's going to be our button four. Slash default. Copy. And here it's going to be hover. And now we go inside of our frame. We select the outer layout and we click align to the bottom like this. And you see there is a problem. We can see uh, top letters. So we need to use padding. Oh, inside the spacing. So we change it to two. And here we need to change it to two, two also like this. Yeah, now it looks okay. Yeah. And select both of them. Create component set. Prototype. Connect. And use while hovering. And here I want to put is in is out. 500 milliseconds. Let's use 300. Oh, let's use two, 200 milliseconds. Again, copy to the frame. Like this. And let's see it in action. And here's the cool effect rolling inside the button rolling text inside the button i hope you like it so don't forget to like that hit that like button all right let's make the fifth button so we select the text i just copy it and i turn it to black and now i make again out layout make it 40 left and right and 16 top and bottom and now i need to make a rectangle Put it inside the button and i need to put it into the i need to use absolute positioning again and put it in the bottom of the frame and in the center and it should be exactly the size of this frame like this and for the height let's use about four pixels like this and put it on the bottom and change it to black again like so and now well, let's rename it button 5 slash default copy it and here let's call it hover and now what i need to do i need to make this rectangle exactly the height of the button And now we need to change the color of the text to white. And again, let's move the layers a little bit. And here, let's move it on the bottom too. And now we select. Create component set. Select the first variant. And connect to the second one. While hovering. Smart animation. Is in and out is OK. And 200 milliseconds is fine too. And let's duplicate it to the frame let's actually make that tidy up like that and let's see how it looks the last button actually for some reason we don't see the this um and then why is that let's click clip content mm -hmm. yep something was wrong with the prototype okay so let's see how it works yep Looks like this. Looks really cool, I think. Guys, I hope you liked the video and it was useful for you. So in the comments below, please tell me which one do you like the most. And please don't forget to like the video if you like it and subscribe to my channel if you didn't do that yet. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.